What is up everybody, my name is Boba Talks and welcome to a brand new Flash Season 4 video. So with San Diego Comic Con coming up shortly guys, where we're going to learn a lot of new things of all our favourite CW shows. The CW have gone ahead and released a synopsis for their San Diego Comic Con panel, so you could so kind of look at this as your first season four properties with the exclusion of you know what some of the actors like kid flash has been saying or candace who plays iris west but i'll cover that in another video so this synopsis does only tease kind of what is to come but we definitely can draw a couple of things from it so i'll go ahead and read out the synopsis now running up against an evil time remnant version of yourself is something no one should ever have to do but that's exactly what faced Barry Allen as he fought to save the life of fiancé Iris West from the god of speed known as Savitar. Barry's victory was short-lived, however, as an unbalanced speed force began to wreak havoc on Central City, forcing Barry to sacrifice himself for the greater good. With the fastest man alive now trapped inside an extra-dimensional energy, it will be up to Team Flash to free Barry from his own personal hell. Join cast members Grant Gustin, Jesse L. Martin, Tom Kavanagh, Candice Patton, Daniel Panabaker, Carlos Valdez, I can't say that name, Keenan Lonsdale and producers of the CW's highest rated series at their annual Comic Con panel and be among the first to find out where things will pick up when season 4 returns this fall. Now instantly there is quite a couple of things to say and that is that Tom Felton isn't uh, listed as being in this Comic Con panel. So a lot of people are thinking, and this isn't official yet, but they are saying that Tom Felton might not be a season four regular. I mean, obviously, we will see him in the first couple of episodes, I'm sure of that. Even if he isn't to play a series regular again, it will be to sort of tie up his story and as to why he might have to go somewhere else because of him not being in the show anymore. But either way, I would expect to see Tom Felton, who plays Julian, uh, from time to time on the show even if he's not a series regular, just because he's a really good character. He was a part of Team Flash at the end, but who knows, guys, we still have to wait for that information to properly come out. But another thing with this synopsis that it, we have to talk about is that it says it will be up to Team Flash to free Barry from his own personal health. Now, instantly, when this synopsis for the Comic-Con panel for The Flash came out, uh, people were like, wait, what? But Nora Allen, or the Speed Force wormhole alien version of Nora Allen, said that Barry wouldn't really be in his own personal hell. He just had to go into the Speed Force because it's his finish line, and he, well, really needed to go in there to save potentially the planet from blowing up because of this Speed Force storm, or just having one great massive earthquake that could have split the planet. I don't know, it's anyone's guess as to how that would have actually gone down. But... This kind of contradicts it, doesn't it? Be through saying it will be up to Team Flash to free Barry from his own personal hell. Now, wait, what? So he is in the Speed Force prison going through his own personal hell then? What, is he relive reliving his mother's death over and over again and his father being sent to jail? That is very confusing because if you do remember in that last episode of The Flash Season 3 when Barry is going into the Speed Force, Nora literally said, Barry isn't going to hell but like all runners, eventually they must reach their finish line. And that is literally what she said. Barry isn't going to hell. And then San Diego Comic Con panel synopsis says, uh, Team Flash to free Barry from his own personal hell. So I don't know, guys. It is kind of confusing as to why the synopsis says this. Maybe they did kind of change their mind and Barry is having quite a messed up time there. If it literally is... According to this text here saying, you know, Team Flash to free Barry from his own personal hell, then I guess we're he will be in the Speed Force prison in his own personal hell, reliving his own personal hell over and over again, much like Jay Garrick had to put up with. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. I don't really know what to think of it, considering this is an official, you know, CW synopsis for the Comic Con panel of The Flash Season 4. It is kind of weird how they have said this in the synopsis, and then in the episode, from what we can take away... The Speed Force wormhole alien said that he won't be in hell. But maybe they changed their mind. Who knows? It's the Speed Force wormhole aliens. But either way, it's a bit iffy. I'm sure some light will be shed on this as of when more news comes out about Season 4. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below in relation to this. But I would also just like to say if this is actually true and Barry is truly stuck inside the Speed Force and he is in his own personal hell, we have to pay attention to the fact that it will be up to Team Flash 
to free Barry. Not Barry himself getting out of there after some trials and tribulations like some people have, including myself, speculated. Maybe he had to go through a few things. But no, it states here. I mean, it, as I said, more information can come out and be elaborated on. But it does clearly state here it will be up to Team Flash. So that's kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's a bit... I don't know if it's disappointing, but I don't know. I, I just feel like I expected a bit more than Team Flash to be the sole people who are responsible for getting Barry out of the Speed Force. But if it is up to Team Flash, I do wonder how long this will take them to do. Will it be one episode? Will it be two? Or will it be, you know, even three? Maybe this is just a synopsis for the Comic-Con panel, sort of overgoing just episode one. But as it is kind of an initial season description, they could be talking about a couple of episodes here. Who knows? But let me know, would you like it to be more than one episode for Team Flash to free Barry from his own personal hell? But one last thought I want to leave with you guys before this video finishes is that if it is up to Team Flash, according to this uh, Comic Con synopsis for the show, that they have to work on releasing Barry from the Speed Force, how would this work in relation to the Speed Force not destroying the world? If they are trying to work on getting Barry out of the Speed Force or his own personal hell, as the very synopsis states, then surely the Speed Force is going to be unbalanced again and it's going to wreak havoc on Central City and possibly the entire planet. So how would they, I mean obviously they will get away with it, but what ideas can you guys come up with as to how they're going to get Barry out of the Speed Force prison, out of his own personal hell, without the consequences of the unbalanced Speed Force? But anyway guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like if you made it this far in the video and if you did end up enjoying it. And if you are new to this video, maybe even consider subscribing to stay up to date with more Flash Season 4 information just like this. Now if you guys never want to miss a video, be sure to click that bell button just to enable notifications and that will basically give you a notification every time I upload a video just like this so you never miss out on one. And lastly guys, if you want to stay a bit more up to date with me personally, I do have a Facebook page i have a twitter page which i regularly post on and i do have instagram and snapchat all links are in the description below or they're popping up on screen right now so guys i hope you have a lovely rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye